It's happening everyone, Quan Chi is back and in tip top shape. Let's break everything down in this chapter of Chainsaw Man. Also, if you're interested in Chainsaw Man manga coverage every time a new chapter drops, then you're in the right place. Get subscribed and help Bento grow. This chapter of Chainsaw Man is fairly short, but there is a lot to break down here and a lot to discuss. Someone from within the church begins the brief to the weapons on what they are supposed to do and their instructions, and it's kind of horrifying. They are to kill humans, mainly women and children, in the loudest way possible, so things like cutting off their limbs, causing massive blood loss, things which look and sound shocking to someone like Digi. They are basically trying to traumatize him. And this really does cement the Chainsaw Man Church as nothing but a horrible organization that has no plans of helping others. Instead, they want to just help their own goals with society. Not like that doesn't happen in real life with a lot of churches, but I do think it's very interesting you have the church act in such a selfish way when usually you'd think churches are mostly a good thing, generally speaking. Also, the man informing them of this is the Spear Hybrid from the Special Division 5 also controlled by Makima, and of course, we do have the Whip Hybrid here, which we learn is 82 years old, so she was born in likely around 1900, considering that Chainsaw Man is somewhere in the 90s. So Sugo calls her an old hag, which I thought was funny at first, but she goes on to say that she is, interestingly, eternally young, tough as nails, and will never die because she is a superior human specimen that was chosen by God. I thought this line of dialogue was interesting mostly because it's another mention of God in Chainsaw Man, and going by the logic of fear breeding these devils, it makes perfect sense to say that God could be a primal fear and that she may in fact be chosen by God. And if that is the case, what could God's role be in all of this? Would it be a devil or something? Put down your comments on what it could be below. But to the spear hybrid, this means that this moment will be a message from God, just showing how deranged these hybrids truly are. So Sugo arrives at the destination along with the other hybrids and the clock hits five on the dot. Seeing a kid who just tripped, he tells himself that this is a message from God. However, what's more interesting about this is Sugo's dialogue, where it seems he's not so sure of his plan himself and that he's only loaning out his body for a little bit is all. In my opinion, Fujimoto continues to make those dingy comparisons to Sugo here, as he's largely going through what Dingy went through, which is doing what he is told like a dog, but in this case, only for a bit. He's basically trying to cope with the fact that he knows this is wrong, but doesn't know any other path he can take. It also really does seem like the church got him on board by playing to his weaknesses, as the a little bit is all implies some kind of desperation on his part. So what is he desperate for? What does he need? Is it money? Is it something more? I'm interested to learn more about Sugo here and what he is doing all this for. I also don't think for a second he's dead. And finally, for the moment that we've been waiting for, as they go to attack the child, which is not the moment we've been waiting for, they instead are cut up, the whip hybrid being beheaded, as well by none other than Quan Chi. Side note, I find it really funny that Fujimoto always has to write in such a way where characters get dealt to them what they were going to do to others. It really does feel like karma exists in the world of Chainsaw Man, which if you know people are afraid of karma, well, you, you get it. But <laughs> my excitement cannot be entailed because ever since these weapons were introduced to the plot of Chainsaw Man, Quan Chi has been a character that practically everyone wanted to see come back. And now that we do, her character has a lot of implications for the story of Chainsaw Man. So Sugo completes his transformation and begins the face off with Quan Chi, but is immediately beheaded and belimbed in just a matter of seconds. And this is what we call a return done in style. Quan Chi then looks down at the work she's done here today, seeing the beheaded corpse of the Whip Devil, and this is no doubt a reference to Makima beheading Quan Chi previously, and also reminding the readers that just because they were all beheaded doesn't mean they are dead. In fact, it means the opposite. They are most likely alive, even after this flurry of attacks. And this also makes me wonder if Makima knew what she was doing by killing off Special Division 5. Did she know that these attacks wouldn't kill them after all? If so, why? I want to take note of Quan Chi here though, because there are some interesting details. For one, her eye patch is now more elegant with some lace covering more of her face, but as well, her facial expression seems 
a bit different, more solemn, more somber. If what I'm reading into is true, I imagine this makes sense because, you know, all of her girlfriends are dead, and as well, she likely will feel horrible for what she did under the control of Makima. As well, this also 100% confirmed that Quan Chi is still with public safety, as after all, she is wearing their uniform. She then relays back to public safety that she got them and that they're going to sit in Special Division 7, which we know already has Fumiko. Which also as well is two numbers higher than Special Division 5, making me think that we're going to see more returning fan favorites. My guess is that we're basically 100% guaranteed getting Rez back, or Rez, a lot of people don't like my pronunciation of this character's name. It just makes total sense for her return though given that the series has slowly been reintroducing Special Division 5. The only two that haven't been shown as of yet is, of course, Rez and Katana Man. As well, I think we're going to properly be introduced to Special Division 7 very soon, as it only makes sense. Considering we just saw Quan Chi go Blackhawk, if that is the case, I think we're going to get even more returning favorites. I'm feeling really good after today's chapter, so I'm going to go on a limb here and say we're all going to see the return of Kishi Bay and maybe Kobini at the very least. <laughs> the reason I believe this is because, you know, Special Division 4 is all but gone, and it would make a lot of sense to put the remnants of Special Division 4 onto a new division to guide the new recruits that may be on it. After all, Kishi Bay, Kobini, and Denji have a lot of experience dealing with devils. It would make sense to have them recruit those three into Special Division 7, would it not? However, after this, the church seeing their plan to be thwarted makes the preparations to prepare all of those that are combat capable to defend the church from public safety searching the church. It's also worth mentioning that public safety would rather frame the church for using guns and planning a mass shooting than reveal their use of hybrid devils to the public. 4D chess here, I think this is likely because it could in turn make some of these devils more feared, leading to maybe them being more powerful. But what I think is more likely is that they don't want to reveal the nature of these weapons they have locked up as they may be much more powerful than most other weapons and don't have enough information to confirm this just yet. As well, as a plot device, it's actually perfect because we as readers continue to guess what could be locked up inside that church and what they could actually really be after. It also turns out they have even more weapons they're hiding from within the church. This is something Haruka and Nobana are surprised to hear, which confirms my suspicions that the church is nothing more than a front, that they swallowed the original church whole to act as a cover and as well a way to get more recruits on board for their plan. He even asks Haruka to basically keep quiet about this and cover it all up, which I think he may do only because he spent so much time in church that it may be sort of a sunken cost to him to just keep peddling the lies and ignoring the truth. Mark my words, this is going to be a massive turning point for Chainsaw Man as a whole, for better or for worse. This chapter set up so many plot points that as we continue to go from here in the story, it should blossom and we should see the main story start to accelerate big time, because to me, it's only a matter of time until public safety as a whole is reintroduced and the new antagonist of the arc, the Chainsaw Man Church, will have their true plans revealed. And like I said previously, my theory is that the church is trying to gather as many hybrids as possible to be used as blood to revive or power boost some secret devil or hybrid they have. As well, I think there could be a conflict between Asa and public safety. The reason I believe that is that it has been set up that Asa is starting to really enjoy this newfound popularity, and her position within the church as the heroine. So if I were a betting man, and just to be clear, don't gamble kids, I think we may get some sort of showdown between Asa against either Quan Chi, Riz, or even Kishibe perhaps. Obviously, we're recklessly speculating here, but I can't see Asa not being fooled by this church. It just makes so much sense for her character and for a nice bit of conflict to have in the story. Heck, we may even get to see Yoru versus Chainsaw Man finally, which if that is the case, sign me the freak up. I need that in my life right now. But let me know what you guys think about this chapter of Chainsaw Man. I've heard some very interesting things already thrown around. So what do you think this chapter means to the rest of the series? 
As well, big shout out to all the new subscribers. We finally reached 3K subs, so if there's anything special you want me to do for that, I'll consider it. As well, 3K views, nearly 200 likes, and 25 comments from the last video is super massive for us. So if you're new here, thank you for dropping by. We cover Chainsaw Man chapters every time one hits. Also, if you like what we do here, then financially support the channel by becoming a patron. There you'll gain access to my massive One Piece arc reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.